One thing that's important to note is when you're doing your actual website planning, it's always good to start with the end in mind. One of the important things about us getting our website built is to also become certified. I've gone out to the CertiPort website, uh, which is the site that Adobe uses, and I've come down here and I'm going to click on the Adobe Certified Associate uh, program or their products. As you come down here and look, you see all the Adobe software that they actually get you certified, that you can get certified in. And our primary focus with this uh, video here is to focus on uh, how we do our site planning as well as what Adobe wants of us to become certified. So I'll click upon uh, the Dreamweaver and it opens up the section here on Dreamweaver certification. Now what's really good in this section is if you come down here and you click on the exam objectives, it actually gives you the information you need to become certified. Here, if you look at the Dreamweaver exam executives, uh, objectives, there's a section here on setting up project requirements, uh, planning and designing your site layout, uh, understanding the Adobe Dreamweaver CS6 interface. Uh, coming up here, you've got adding content by using uh, Adobe uh, Dreamweaver CS6, uh, optimizing the site for Dreamweaver 6, content for using Dreamweaver 6, and evaluating and maintaining the site by using Adobe Dreamweaver 6. These are all extremely good objectives. I'm going to go ahead and copy off the first two uh, domains that they're talking about right here. And when I do that, I'll copy that. I'll come over and place it into a Word document, as you see here. In this Word document, I've gone ahead and titled it Portfolio Website Planning and Outline. Well, in here, I've gone and highlighted each one of those domain questions that Adobe has out there on the exam objectives in CertiPort's website. Then I come in and I'm starting to plan out my website and answer some important questions. Like as you see here in the first one, the purpose of my website is to showcase my skills, talents, and experiences in the related fields upon which I'm applying for a job and or convincing a client to hire me uh, for a project upon which I can complete, excuse me, complete for their business. Well, that's the main objective for our website that we're working on. Now, going ahead and getting set up and ready to go, I've gone ahead and it says identify the web page content that is relevant to this website purpose and appropriate for the target audience. So in this I've gone ahead and started working on uh, the design of my banner. I need to build a banner that's uh, 1024 by 100 pixels and then build a footer that's 1024 by 60 pixels. I've decided to go ahead and use navy blue and gold for my colors with white accents. I'm going to add an address and email link at the, on the footer. I'm going to use uh, copper plate bold for my font. And my design motif, you know, since I'm from Texas, will have to be uh, something about Texas. So I, I'm going to go ahead and use the Lone Star icon that was used on the first flag of the Texas Republic. So that's, that's my initial site planning. I'll come back and fill out the rest of these as I work on the project, making sure I understand and doing the things that are necessary for my site to be successful and also necessary to prepare me for the Adobe CertiPort exam that we see uh, right here uh, with CertiPort.